welcome to another episode of Level Up. In today's video, we're going to continue building our platform again. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate the sprites we created in our last video. So the sprites I'm talking about are our coin sprites. And what we want our coins to do is we want our coins to slowly rotate. So what we currently have is just a static coin. And I'll show you a way to use the animation extensions to animate that coin. The first thing we'll do is come to advanced. Scroll down through advanced and come to extensions. And this option will allow us to add animation. So we'll click that. And here we can see the animation blocks have been added to our block options. So we'll click animation and we'll grab and animate my sprite and we will drop this into the four elements. Remember, we need to change this now. So we'll change this to coin. And now we'll select the frames. So because I cheated and chose an option from the gallery, if we go back to our gallery, and find our coin. And if you click plus, this will add another frame. So back into our gallery, we can see what they've done in make code is they've created these pre-made sprites um, and they've done it in a way that if you just click one after the other, that will be the animation built for you. So we'll just go in order, adding frames. If you are more creative than I am, you can draw your own frames. We've added all of our frames. And if you want to check what the animation will look like, you can just click this play button up here. And there we see our coin rotating. It's rotating a little too slowly for me. So I will change this to 200. Let's see how that goes. Um, Let's change that to 100. Too fast. Back to 200. I'm happy with that speed. So I'll click done. I'm going to get rid of this block quickly. There we see our coins. But they've only rotated once. And the way we change that is by clicking on in the loop. So now the loop will keep repeating the rotation. And there we can see it. If we move our hero over, we see our beautiful rotating coins. And when we collect them, we are only collecting one point per coin. So that's perfect. Something else you could do is copy that whole section and create enemies. So let's do that. We'll scroll down to give ourselves some more space. And the first thing we'll do is go to our tile map. The same way we created placeholders for our coins, we'll create placeholders for our enemies. So let's draw a tile, click the plus button, um, and we will choose black. Now, everywhere we want an enemy to appear, we need to add a black tile. So we'll make this a little bit more challenging for our hero. So we've added quite a few enemies to our game. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. So we see our black blocks. Now, to save us time, We've already done all of this code. So what we can do is we can just copy it. So we'll double click or right click, duplicate, and we'll drop that underneath. Now we've got a little bit of rejigging to do. So the first thing we'll do is we'll change this from a red block to a black block. And now we can see coins have appeared everywhere we placed a black block. So we don't want it to be a coin. 
So we'll change it. We'll change the variable. We'll say new variable and we will choose a snake. Now we'll change the sprites. Now because I only use the gallery, I know there's a really cute little snake in here. There he is. Very happy looking snake. So we'll pop the first image in. So we need to change this. So let's add a new kind and we'll call this new kind snake just to keep everything nice and simple. So we want to place snake everywhere there's a black one and now we want to animate snake and now we need to change the frames for snake so we will delete all of these frames we currently have and we'll change this and we'll come into our gallery and we'll just move through our snake frames frame one frame two frame three frame four frame five frame six frame seven frame eight let's see what that looks like so we'll click our play button yes perfect and 200 looks like quite a good speed for that to happen at so we'll click done And in our game, we can see everywhere we had a black square, we now have a little hissing snake. What happens though when we overlap with that snake? Nothing. So what we want to happen is we want her to lose one point every time she overlaps with the snake. And to do that, we're just going to copy code we've already done. So we'll duplicate this. And we'll just play around with it. So we'll change this kind to snake. And we're going to change the score by minus one. And then we want to destroy the snake, but we want it to be different from spray. Spray is what happens when we destroy a coin. We want it to be fire. What does that look like? Let's give it a test. So we gain a point when we land on a coin. And when we land on a snake, we're going to lose a point and destroy it with fire. Perfect. I like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a little way to animate sprites and make your game a little bit more interesting. I really am excited to see what you do with this. So share your games with us in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them below and we'll get back to you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.